Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are doing a Swedish mukbang. My name is Dylan. This is my husband Bo. But yes, we have a ton of Swedish food and some of the things we've tried, some of the things we have not. I'm a little nervous. And we also have a ton of questions that y'all left. Thank y'all so much for leaving all those great questions. But why don't we go ahead and get into it. Okay, as we get started, again, I just want to thank y'all. We have so many questions to answer. We might not get to all of them in this video, but that's okay. We already are thinking about a Swedish Fika Q&A kind of thing, um, a mukbang style one. So why don't you introduce what we have going on here, Bo? I, we have an aerial view, but why don't you go ahead and tell yeah, us? Yeah, sure, of course. So uh, we'll start on this side and go over. We have lingonberry jam, a uh, Swedish classic. We have um, Swedish meatballs in uh, mushroom gravy. Bold potatoes, which I feel like is included in every lunch I see uh, in Sweden. And then we have some delicious uh, toppings for Koneka bread. Koneka bread is kind of like this uh, dry cracker uh, kind of thing. And the toppings are this uh, roasted reindeer flavored spreadable cheese, cheese yeah. in a tube. Um, Kallis caviar, which is like, you know, I mean, a I think you can even get this in Ikea in the States, right? Yes, this is just so can. iconically Swedish. Uh, Sinapsil, which is, uh, it's mustard herring, I guess is what it means. It's a pickled herring type, uh, mm -hmm. spread, which mm -hmm. sounds frightening. So I'm terrified of that. <laughs> so like, obviously I've had Swedish meatballs. I've had land berries before, but like, I'm not, I haven't, I actually haven't even barely, I've tried like a nibble of that before and it's Funny like, story, yeah. uh, I the well, last time we tried this, it was a Christmas time at home. We yeah. were home, it was her brother, so my brother-in-law, and he had his hands dirty, he was like prepping food, <laughs> and so he couldn't like try something with his hands. I said, hey, do you want me to feed some to you? He said, yeah, so I just put a big old pile of it on and gave it to him. <laughs> his mouth because Bo, I thought we were friends. <laughs> because we I, thought they were gonna fight. Yeah, I thought they were going to fight. This actually has reindeer meat in it. I yeah, know. yeah, it's That's roasted. It's like a reindeer jerky flavored cheese spread. Okay. And then this is like a, a holiday drink for Yule Sweden. moost, yeah. yeah. So they do it in Christmas, they do it in Easter, Yule being Christmas, and they yeah. do post moost as well. Post oh, oh Easter, for Easter. Easter. Yeah. So this one's sugar free and this one's regular. And yep. then uh, I'll talk about this one over here. So this is something that I encountered in the school system that I was working in. I Every time they had pasta, I would like be shocked that they put out ketchup. Anytime they had potatoes or other things, they didn't put out ketchup. They didn't put up ketchup. I don't know what to say. They put out ketchup for pasta. And we've literally seen like billboard ads, like little ones outside the grocery store of like them trying to market like ketchup to you. Heinz. Heinz and pasta. And a it's great just combination. a big old dish of pasta and meatballs. So we made this, whatever this abomination is. That just we, dry pasta and meatballs. And, meatballs, and we're going to try it. I... Don't know about that one. And then we have a ton of this stuff. This is for the fat kid in yes. us. This is, Max is a Swedish um, like fast food joint kind of you know McDonald's ish. Yeah, yeah it's right. there. It's, but, but it's really popular here. Oh no, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Probably yeah. more so than McDonald's. For sure. Ooh, I didn't okay. know you got some onion. Rings. Oh yeah, onion rings. So let's get into oh, this. Oh shoot. Let's okay. This Good thing we have a clean table because food's just gonna. Lay on it's it. gonna go everywhere. Oh, and this is. They, what is this? It, they put the burger in upside down, dude. <laughs> What? Oh, it's oh, oh no! Oh. These are chili cheese fries. Oh, oh my lord! Okay. Oh oh oh! Excuse me. Is this me. like a popper, a cheese thing? Yeah, those are habanero cheese poppers. Ooh, okay, and then this that. must be another burger. Okay. This one. Okay. And two burgers, yes, right? Yes, two burgers. So this is the halloumi, and this, and is, this is a real is burger. burger. These are so this was the crispy nacho burger, which I couldn't pass up with a name like that. Uh, apparently, I want a little bit of both. So it's a sure. burger with just like I guess Doritos on it. <laughs> Which is amazing. Yeah, they just cram some It Doritos. looks like a regular bur burger with Doritos. So, do you want to mention um, uh, halloumi? Or do you oh, wanna... yeah, yeah. Well, we will we'll probably talk that. about halloumi we'll later, but it. halloumi is this a glorious <laughs> thing in Sweden that, or it's not It's not a Swedish product. It's like from Cyprus or yeah, something. Yeah, it's from Cyprus. But, um, popular in Europe. Yes, yeah, popular, very popular. And it's just a really hard cheese that doesn't melt very easily. And it is delicious. Like, oh, yeah. I am in love with halloumi. So um, it's a really popular meat substitute, uh, and I don't know what else to say about it other than it's delicious. Absolutely. So I'm starving. Let's get into it. Okay, let's get. Uh, I'm gonna start on this burger here. Should I feel like I should? I feel like we should try the nasty stuff. What first? I don't know. I'm like, not I'm about so to ruin afraid my meal. of this. Okay. okay. All right. No. Well, okay. I'm gonna try a sip of your first. I also want to try. It, you both get the though. diet. You get diet. No. Let me try the. I'm so scared. Let's see. I know it's probably gonna take like licorice, right? Oh, mm. that tastes like bad. 
Bad decisions in college. That's exactly what that tastes like. Ooh. This tastes like Jägermeister without mm. the fun. Oh. This is this is all of the Jägermeister oh. with none of the fun. Gulmust. <laughs> <laughs> it literally made it's, me sh that like is, chill bumps. That is licorice Ooh. town. Yeah, that's. that's... I, yeah, I'm, I've never been a licorice fan. In fact, I don't know why I drank Jäger shots in college. Like. Oof. That's, yeah, that really reminds One of the worst nights of my life were, was that, and I feel like that's exactly where <laughs> well, I'm not where that. remembering. Well, not that, but like, <laughs> yeah, good thoughts. Uh, okay, uh, so a Kaneka uh, bread, this one's cracked, but they come in these cute little triangles, right? Yes, okay, yes. Amazing. Do you want to do... I'll do... Oh, we we gotta break up the fish. Let's start okay. with the... Yeah. Well, okay, so you want to do callus caviar, do callus. then reindeer, then yeah, synopsis. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I might do a Swedish meatball in between because I, I don't, I'm the seal. so afraid. Mm. And I got some, a knife for us if we need oh. the spread. You know what? I'm just going to go straight for it. Ooh! How much is too much here? What um, do you say? That, oh, you're a brave man. That's I'm going to do like baby bites. No, we're here to eat. Let's, uh, let's spread this It like out. looks, mm. it looks like just fish eggs. It has, I don't know it what it like is. It has like a granular, Ooh. yeah. I'll like see, I'm gonna grab my like, my cam my other camera out and see if I can give you like a close up. Yeah, salty. Is it salty? Very okay. salty. Is that enough? Will I taste mm -hmm. it? I don't know, all right. Oh, Jesus. I mean, I remember like faintly, I tried it like a little bite because I saw my brother's reaction to it first. <laughs> And then I was like, well, okay, I'm not going to eat that. And I'm going to say it like this. You spread it out thin like that, it's not so bad. Okay. That's actually pretty good. I can get into it. It needs something. It's like, you no. need, it needs like a... Mm. Like You're almost, very fishy. It's extremely Ooh, it's fishy. Really very fishy. Slight, but it needs like a, like a sour component to it. Mm. I wonder if you could just put it over cream cheese or something like... Cream cheese? You need to tone it down. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of fish. I was thinking. I, don't know, like, I like fish, and that's a lot of These fish. These like some lemon juice or something. Maybe. That's a lot. Ooh, we. Okay, I, I gotta eat that onion ring. Okay. Okay. I could grab. Mm. No. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Roasted reindeer. Okay. okay. And this is such an awkward thing to film, by the way, because it's so weird to like hear myself crunching on camera. But I know that when I watch no. other people's videos. Oh, also, we didn't even say what a mukbang is. Sorry. Oh. Let's it, let us introduce you to the idea of a mukbang. We got a couple questions about what is a mukbang. It is uh, not a perverted sexual move. <laughs> um, it is not a dirty explosion. <laughs> <laughs> or any other other things that people asked if it yeah, was. It's not those things. It's um, just a phenomenon of people yeah. eating on camera. And I guess it's like this intimate thing that you do. And so it's kind of interesting to like do it with other people. Yeah. And also, Internet trend came from South Korea. Yeah. Blew up about 2010. Yeah. I think uh, mukbangs are, are also a thing to see like pop. Mostly people do like, at least the ones I come across on YouTube are like big brands like McDonald's or like fast food what? joints and like they have they order like the whole menu and sit down and oh, like I do see. it all right that's fine that tastes like cheese well not cheese it tastes like cheese whiz mm. i remember something else i was going to say about mukbang people who are really good at doing this they have like super powered mics and like really good sound quality oh, they do the ASMR. and it did the asmr factor mm -hmm. to it and it's that that's like super satisfying. We don't have those kind of mics. I'm going back for seconds on this. This is really good. That's not bad at all. That is cheese whiz with a, a flavor of, of meat. smoked jerky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, jerky. I will say the only thing that freaks me out a little bit is just knowing that I'm eating reindeer, because Rudolph. Mm. Merry Christmas. You don't want to do this? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> While we're doing this. <laughs> okay. Let me get a whip. It doesn't taste, it doesn't smell bad. It smells like mustard mostly. I'm so terrified of this. I don't know why I let you talk me into buying that. Yeah, it's like. I'm gonna watch you eat it first. It smells if I, faintly like mustard. I'm so scared, okay. Oh boy. I, I oh really God, get a fork here. Well, yeah, I realize I messed up. What's <laughs> wrong with you? Oh Lord of mercy, why is it so big? Okay, so this is pickled herring in, in mustard. Okay. That's all this is. Okay. Okay. 
I'm gonna like Take cut him. off a piece of that. Can I have a piece of that? No, instead? this is all for daddy. <laughs> oh, no. You can get your own. Here, you want the yeah. Thank you. Oh my lord. Okay. Okay. Here's a small piece on top. Oh my god, what am I doing? Well, that mustard, that's good as brown mustard. It's brown? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's brown mustard. I'm gonna get some potatoes just because I, I don't think I can handle it um, without potato. That's actually a good idea. I bet it would be good dipping a little boiled potato. Okay. Yeah. You ready for this? I'm you don't need to do it on Kaneka? Kaneka? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna cut do, it. I'm gonna Kaneka. cut it and then I'm gonna put some on Kaneka and then I'll eat the rest. Oh god, it's like gummy. Yeah, oh, it's, god. it's pickled. I'm it's not pick gonna. This is pickled I'm fish. I'm not gonna be okay with this. Clinky. Cheers. Okay. It's not as bad as I thought. Not even bad. Okay. I thought I was gonna cry having to eat that one. That's a snack. <laughs> I don't know if I go that far. No, that's good. I like the mustard. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. That mostly tastes like mustard, and I like mustard, so that's fine. But the texture of it is a little weird. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a gummy oyster, like a yeah. chewy oyster. <laughs> yeah. No worries. All right. All right. So yeah, now we're just kind of kind of dig in because that's the majority of it, other than like some ketchup. I can't believe I'm also gonna eat ketchup on it. Is it okay if I go ahead and? You know what? Toss it. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> that's, so, that's so wrong. <laughs> Give it, not, give it a toss. That's not nice to do. To, uh, let me get a, yeah, thanks, thanks. I'm, I think I'll just take a bite. Oh God. I got a little cold. It is, it's sat here. So we're about to really enjoy this. Okay. Hold on. Setting up was a, was a task today. Okay. Yeah, we had a bit we of We have a... no light. So that leads me to another thing that we were gonna include today. Was we were gonna get a pizza that we first are literally like our first time eating out in Sweden. We ordered this pizza at a restaurant and we were reading off this Swedish menu and we thought we were cool and we were like, oh, this is gonna be great. That's not, that's not great. <laughs> um, and we thought it was, a, it, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, it said shrimp, curry, and bananas. <laughs> Or banana. I didn't it's, say banana. It's a banana. It's a banana. And, and we, we were like banana peppers, right? Like, <laughs> like of course it's banana this peppers. This will be banana peppers. No one for puts sure. banana. Um, so we ordered it. We thought we were really cool. We thought we were reading Swedish properly. And then they bring it out, and it's it's shrimp, curry powder, and actual sliced, sliced bananas banana. on, this, on this pizza. So um, yeah. That was interesting. We were gonna try and actually get that, but we couldn't even. Mm -hmm. The place was closed. Yeah, they today. don't open until after one, which the sun is like down by that point. So, what's the point? Yeah. Okay, let me try some of this ketchup abomination. It's okay. I mean, I mean, you got it to to. It ain't that bad. It's I not mean, bad. It's it's Are like sure? it's it's cursed. Mm -mm. It is cursed. Mm -mm. Like you shouldn't do it. Mm -mm. But like for accepting it that it's not. Mm -mm. This is <laughs> oh my okay. Mm -mm. Except that it's not. Okay, it's not spaghetti and mm -mm. meatballs because that's for sure. But it is weird in its own way and kind of awesome. Mm -hmm. It's it's an abomination. I mean, I, I ate like ketchup sandwiches and stuff when I was like little. Yeah, right when you're like four. And but like, like yeah. not um not. I don't it's think I ever thing, had spaghetti though. like that. Oh my god. But it's the same thing. It's carbs these, and, uh, and ketchup. Jalapeno or habanero. It's weirder with the meatball. Mm -hmm. The meatball makes it weird. Oh, they're actually hot. They're actually spicy. Whoa, that is a rare thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try these guys. Mm. Those are good. Whoa. Okay, not bad. Okay, do we want to ask some questions? Yes, we need to get into questions for sure. Lingonberry sauce um, is a thing in Sweden. Well, they have these little bitty tiny little red berries. They're called lingonberries. They look like mini, mini cranberries. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've actually never had a fresh one. I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't I don't know if they're like tart like cranberry yeah. or not because this is not very tart. Yeah, no, this is very sweet. But um, a lot of people like this with their meatballs, which at first I was kind of like, mm, I don't think I like that. But I have eaten it before at like Ikea and stuff with my right. meatballs just right. because it was a thing. And it's not bad. Like, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not my favorite, but... 
It's not bad. Yeah, so why did you move to Sweden? First impressions of Sweden, and how did you guys adjust when you first got okay. here? The first one you said is, where, why are we here? Or like, why do we We're here Sweden? for my job. I got a job after my PhD uh, as a postdoc researcher. So yeah. That's why we're here. And to like keep it really short, like basically he builds, um, uh, he helps build microscope and looks at like E. coli. Examines like yep. really, really tiny bits of E. coli moving. moving. We want to examine single molecules in mm -hmm. living cells. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. I also remember a question about like what was my first impression when we found out we were moving here. And I know immediately, well, you, you were excited because you were, he really wanted to live in Europe. And also I got a job. <laughs> and then I, I immediately thought, oh my God, am I going to be cold all the time? And the answer is yes, <laughs> I am cold all the time. Pretty much. Even, Even in like, summer. Yeah. Our, one of our anniversaries, which is like in July, I wore a leather jacket out on our date night. Like not this past year, but the year before. It yep. was that cold. So. Yep. So how did you adjust? When you first got here, um, that was hard. I'm not sure I have. Yeah, I was gonna say, and, but like interestingly, yeah, because we spent the first year and a half building a friendship group, mm -hmm. and then COVID hits, mm -hmm. and now you can't hang out with people. Yeah. So it's it's really hard. It's kind of been yeah. lonely for the first bit, and then lonely for the second bit, but for different reasons. So I think one of the best things I've done for myself is be here on YouTube and build this community and and make friends. That's been such a big deal, and then also. The couple friends that I have at home that we chat with on a semi-regular basis is super helpful. I don't know what I would do without without those friends and those family members. Will you ask me another question? So, do you speak any Swedish? Oh. Uh, the short answer is nay. We uh, bara <laughs> svenska. We barely speak any Swedish at all. Just enough to get us through the grocery store. Speaking is way harder. Mm -hmm. So it's like the hardest, of course, is speaking. Then it's listening, then it would be um, writing, and then it would be reading. We, uh, we read pretty well. Yeah, for sure. Like, you, you can read so much, and it's pretty easy to get. Men svenska är det league. Not good. It's very bad. We try to take some courses. They offer free, like, if you go sign up and, like, go take courses, they are free here in Sweden. But it's a big time commitment, and we would be at work all day and then come home, and then you have to be in classes for, like, is it two or three hours yeah. at night? And we we did it for a couple months and we were just burnt out. Like, yeah, so we just stopped. Hard. Plus, we're more than likely not gonna be here for a long time, so the benefit of learning Swedish, by the time we like learn it well enough, <laughs> we'd probably be leaving, so. Right, it's not a plan to stay in Sweden mm -hmm. full term, mm -hmm. long time, you know. Sorry, uh, I'm someone who like, my nose just runs all the time anyways, and so especially when I eat, my nose just runs and runs, sorry. Runs and runs and runs. It's also like fast food does mm -hmm. it to you. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's a thing. Okay, um, oh, so differences between Sweden and the U.S. What are mm. differences that we've noticed? A ton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a lot that's the same because um, I think Western culture is just very, you know, similar. Yeah, you, you can know. tell that Sweden likes, uh, or they watch a lot of U.S. TV, yeah. they, they listen to a lot of U.S. music, like, it's a lot of American culture in Sweden. Mm -hmm. But they do, I have to try this for her, mm -hmm. but they do a couple odd things, like, trying to think they don't talk small uh, i know i mentioned that before but small, that's like one of the most jarring things i know it sounds like it's not mm -hmm. but when you're so used to being around people and like you just smile or like make small talk with complete strangers and no one does that here it's still to me even though we've been here going on three years maybe yeah, over two years, two years. Uh, it's still such a jarring thing to like not it's like weird if you talk to a straight yeah to a the bus stops are always spread out you know no one hangs around each other which is great for covid but it's mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's weird when you first come here for sure um so yeah so along that line like what are the things we prefer about sweden um mm. there's a lot to to enjoy healthcare i oh think is God. the number one thing Mm -hmm. uh, having, um, we can go to a doctor and you don't have to worry about like, you know what the cost is up front. Yep. It's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, what else is there? Uh, the, I really appreciate if someone did ask if they have like a recycling program here, that's one of the things that I like about Sweden is like, it's so easy to recycle. It's just expected that you participate in that culture of like recycling everything in the basement. So easily laid out and like, it's probably harder not to recycle yeah, than honestly. it is to recycle. Yeah. It's that easy. Yeah. I love that. I love that. One of the things that I don't know if I appreciated at first was the fact that like you, you don't grocery shop here like you do in the U.S. Like in the U.S. we would go grocery shopping like once a week maybe and we'd just get a ton of food and put it in the free, in fridge and freezer. 
preservatives help that mm. last. Here they don't really use preservatives, so you kind of have to go grocery shopping almost every day, every other day, just on your way home as you like bike home a lot of times. He'll mm. bring some food home and we cook that night. I like cooking so much because you don't really eat as much fast food here. This is like a treat for us. We do not eat Max's, yeah. like maybe once a quarter, probably every not even. Every months, yeah, it's and not so, a thing. You really do cook a lot more at home, and I've come to appreciate that now. I really enjoy that now. But at the mm -hmm. first, when we first got here, it was tough to like kind of change all of those habits and like yeah. everything was convenience. And now it's now it's slowed down, different pace of life, if that makes sense. This is something interesting. So of course, the city is more bikeable and bike friendly than say Atlanta, where we're from. But. Uh, at the same time, I would say the drivers still are just as disrespectful <laughs> oh to my bikers God. as in yes. Atlanta, which is, I, I was not ready for that. I, didn't, mm -hmm. I was very surprised. Mm -hmm. But yeah, okay. That's it's not bad on the on the fourth sip. <laughs> That's all you then. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. Oh, okay. What's our favorite trip while we've been here in Europe? Oh, that's a good one. We've gotten to travel quite a bit we've been in Europe. Very lucky, yeah. Even before we moved here, we had been a couple places. Yeah, we've been to Munich and uh, Edinburgh and London before. Mm -hmm. I, I honestly love all of them. There's not a place that I've been that I'm like, mm, not my favorite. But I think probably if I had to pick like my top two favorite or my one favorite trip, I liked Italy. We got to go and meet some friends there and that was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And also the food was insane, so yeah. good. And it was just a nice, like, relaxed trip. trip. Yeah. yeah. Gosh. Um, okay, so outside of that, I would say, because that was a really good trip. Yeah, I'm going to get some of this. Mm -hmm. That was a really fun trip. Maybe, I really like when we went to Palma, to Spain. It's, you know, this island uh, in the Mediterranean, kind of like the Redneck Riviera of <laughs> Of Europe, it's it feels like very much at home. Yeah, it's like it Panama was, City meets Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really pretty there, um, and we we were there. We needed like beach time. We needed mm -hmm. a vacation. You know, sometimes when you go like this, you end up doing like so much work that you need a vacation from your vacation. Well, that one was like actually laid back and really nice and just really pretty, and you just got to enjoy the ocean. That was really nice. Yeah. But also, like one of my favorite places is Amsterdam. Oh, man. I loved Amsterdam. The street food was insanely good, and it was so easy to get around, and it was cute, and there was beer. Yep. And it was good. Like, it was just... Yep. A-plus for Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Well, we touched on this a little bit. How is COVID in Sweden? Yeah, I guess you can't have a video in 2020 without <laughs> mentioning mm -hmm. COVID one time, mm -hmm. probably. Um, yeah, so I think... In the beginning, um, there, I know there's been a big, at least from what I've seen in the U.S., U.S. media has really kind of focused on the Swedish response because it seems to be a bit more controversial, at least in the beginning. But I would say um, that for us here in Uppsala, in the beginning, it was very relaxed. There was small, there were small steps taken. Um, mm -hmm. There was maybe a counter placed over the the grocery store showing how many people were in there. Maybe you should avoid going in. Mm -hmm. but there wasn't, there were not hard rules set in the beginning. Um, and then the summer, it like basically disappeared. Things were back to normal. Yeah. Actually. Well, but a lot of people like just kind of disappear in the summer, at, at right. least in this town, because it's such a college town, especially like college students go back home to their families. So it was less congested. So it didn't end up being a problem in our city. I think Stockholm had a little bit of like some yeah, trouble managing. Which is about an hour south of us. Yeah. 40 minutes. <clears throat> but just to kind of continue, uh, Sweden's little second wave here, I think is mostly, at least in our town, we're seeing like a rise in cases mostly around like college age kids, but then it is spreading to people not in the college age group because it is such a little town. But we have seen a pretty significant se second wave here. Yeah. Yeah. So it's actually gotten pretty bad. We've, um, we started wearing masks at work, mm -hmm. um, those sorts of things, which I guess is kind of a shock if you're in the U.S. because most people have probably been ordered to stay at home yeah. for a long time. But Sweden now. doesn't really do masks. They're, they're not Mask big. culture does not, has not hit Sweden. Mm -hmm. I would say now we're starting to hit maybe 25%, maybe one in four people, one in five people, yeah. I think, now are wearing masks. But that was a huge shift from yeah. earlier. It's surprising to go to the grocery store and see people wearing masks to me. Like I, I'm, I'm like surprised yeah. in a good way when I see that. Yeah. Want to do some personal ones? We only have one more Sweden question. Oh. All right. Favorite food or drink in Sweden? Mm. I love halloumi. I mean, I mean, Ooh. I know it's not that's technically Swedish, no. but 
Yeah. Um, maybe kebab pizza was a big surprise. I like that a lot. It's exactly what you think. Reminds me of going, if you've ever been to like Stevie B's or CC's pizza mm -hmm. in the U.S. It's those like weird pizzas like taco pizza or... I mean, you can get them in pizza. the U.S. The you can kebab, get the kebab pizza, pizza in the U.S. But very, right. it's very popular here. Exactly. Sweden's yeah, very good at like... Like kind of commandeering other cultures, so, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of true. But like, literally, one of one of my coworkers had told me that one time they tried to vote on a national dish and they voted on tacos, and they were like, "All right, everybody, tacos can't really be a Swedish thing. Come on." And uh, but like, they love tacos. They love they love kebabs. Every restaurant in Uppsala, which I know is is slightly tainted because it is a college town, pretty much. But I would say ninety percent of the restaurants in this town are pizza, kebab, burger, combination restaurant. Yeah. They serve all three, and that's just what you get. Pizza, kebab, burger, okay. that's your go-to. Yeah. What's up? <clears throat> yeah. Personal yeah. questions. Ready to go? Yeah. How slash when did we meet? We met several times. Yeah. <laughs> we met. Uh, the first time would be in utero. Uh -huh. Our moms knew each other, and we, yeah. Our moms were pregnant with us at pretty much the same time. Our birthdays are very close together. Yeah. Nine days apart. Nine days apart, yeah. I'm older. <laughs> she is. Older lady. Um, so, uh, and even our older siblings are almost the same age too, which is mm -hmm. very interesting. They were in the same grade. Mm -hmm. um, they were in like, you know, there's little photos of them being the king and queen of fourth grade mm -hmm. class together or whatever. Um, so yeah, and so the we that was maybe the first time. The second time would it be when we were 12? Yeah, we met in theater, or we we had we were in the same theater camp for like, was it one or two weeks? Yeah, it was two weeks, yeah. I think it was two weeks. And I even have like my shirt from back then, and I I, can, I found his little like signature on my shirt, but we didn't really know each other. Like we didn't, we weren't really friends in that class. It was a bigger class, and you didn't really, it wasn't long enough yeah. to like make friends like that. You know, that. it's like 30 kids, and it's right. two weeks. And, and you tend to like stick with people that you already knew going into the class or something. Mm -hmm. And at the age of 12, I was like, I only wanted girlfriends. <laughs> yeah. So then, cut to high school, and we were in. I was. I had been in the same church my entire life. Your family came to the church, mm -hmm. and we didn't meet for like a weirdly long time. Once you had already been. It was been so coming. funny. I'd been coming a regular amount of time, and for one reason or another, I wouldn't be there, or she wouldn't be yeah. there for various things, like, like softball, or you, were, or like various camps or stuff yeah. that you have to do in the summer. Yeah. yeah, and then finally we met, even though we were dating other people, and we it's not like we cheated. But then later on, when we both were single, we hooked up. Hooked up. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know about that. We started yeah. dating. When we first met, we were dating other people, and then later on, when we were both single, we eventually started talking and chatting, and very quickly got into a relationship. That was the most awkward path to that destination. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, long story short, we met when we were in high school, and <laughs> we started dating shortly after. How did I propose? Also, we got a really sweet compliment. Um, People call us George Burns and Gracie Allen, which I really appreciated because I always thought I looked a lot like Gracie Allen too, so that's a very nice <laughs> thing. That's very sweet. But thank you for that compliment. That is actually a big deal. Oh, that we have. No, that's sweet though. That's very That's nice. super sweet. <laughs> okay, anyways, what was the other question? Oh, how did he propose? Um, okay, short and simple. It was junior year um, of college. Mm -hmm. We were, and it was Christmas break. We started dating when we were 17, mind you. So like right. we so were been dating 21 by Four that time? years by that time. Um, and so, 20, 21? yeah. So uh, I set up the scavenger hunt for her starting at her house. And it involved, you know, like going and getting your nails done and mm -hmm. then leading her across the city to collect balloons mm -hmm. that uh, at various places that were significant to our relationship. And the balloon spelled out, marry me. And the last one was me uh, at the church we met mm -hmm. and where I actually proposed. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. That was a great day. That was a really good day. Okay, I'm well aware that this video is already really long. So what we're gonna do is kind of tidy up for a minute, bring out the desserts, and then we're gonna do some like speed questions and anything we didn't get to today, because we are we definitely didn't get to most of the questions. Mm -hmm. We'll try to get into another video, but let's go ahead and get the dessert out. Cool. Okay, we are back with the desserts. Before we get into showing you what we have for dessert wise, um, I, I would just want to say again, we are we definitely have not even gotten to half of the questions. So we're gonna we had categorized them into like Sweden, us, um, some speed round stuff like makeup. We, yeah makeup, and we're we're only gonna be able to get to like a couple of them. So why don't we go to the speed round for this sure. for this little portion, 
And let's go over really quick what we have in front of us. And then, like, so Bo knows I love Max Lick Shakes. They're That's called right. Lick Shakes. Like luxury shakes. Yes. Is like and what that means. they are amazing. He brought me one when he brought all the food in. So I put it in the, free, <laughs> in the freezer, which is why the plate, why it's stuck to the plate. And then you have... Uh, this is like princess torta. It's mm -hmm. like a pastry cake kind of thing. Mm -hmm. What is that? Uh, oh, yeah. And this is blueberry and cardamom ice cream. So cardamom, they, they put cardamom in dessert here, which yeah. always feels more of like an Indian kind of flavor. So yeah. I think savory when I think of Indian, yeah. when I think of cardamom, but uh, it's always desserts. This is salt licorice ice oh, cream, which boy. I'm so terrified of. And then in case it's any of it's bad, we made a chocolate sauce ourselves last night. We'll just we put it in a paprika it. jar, but it is a chocolate sauce. So. That's true. <laughs> so hopefully that can save some, any of this. I'm terrified of this. I mean, I don't know what I'm thinking. It'll taste like but let's go for it. Whoa. Is it going to be salty ice cream? Oh. Yeah. Salty ice cream? I, I can get behind salty ice cream. Chocolate sea salt is my favorite. It's weird. I don't know. Let's see here. I've never had anything like that before. You can definitely smell the licorice. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Okay. But all the ways that have licorice. Mm -hmm. Not the worst. Mm -hmm. That is definitely worse. <laughs> that, that is, I would rather eat this than that. Yeah. For sure. Wow. There's yeah. a, they, Swedish people love, love licorice so much. I've literally seen an all licorice store. That's yeah, true. In town. It smells like licorice on the street mm -hmm. when you walk in front of it. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. All right, let me get some palate cleanser here. Best thing that happened in 2020. Okay. Best thing that happened in 2020 uh, for me is. Um, YouTube growth. We did that. We did the Partners in Cream project. It's yeah. gone so well. Those are like definitely highlights for me. Yeah, I published a manuscript this year, which I was very excited about. So that's all. That was great. It literally tastes like a um, can of Buller. Like a. They have uh, cinnamon rolls here that are really popular. That they put cardamom in. That they put cardamom in. It literally tastes like. But that. they have cardamom Buller as well. Like, oh. Specifically, but like, that is banging. That's actually, really good. I actually. really like the blueberry with it too. Yeah. Wow. I don't really like ice creams like this typically, but this that is, is good. Okay. <laughs> Speed round. Complete this sentence. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Mm -mm. <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> mm, well, not okay. I thought. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> did you just miss your mouth? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, complete this sentence. You're my blank. Are we gonna, are we gonna answer at the mm -hmm. same time? You're my best, best friend. friend. Yeah, knew it. <laughs> yeah, same. Absolutely. Um, also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put the spoon in your mouth. <laughs> there we go. Much better. Uh, what's a TV show or movie that the other one hates? Oh, so what's what, something I like? That mm. you don't like or TV movies. Um, that okay. Anything I don't like animated, animated things. Anything yeah. animated. Yeah. I love animated TV. Mm -hmm. No, I like Rick and Morty. Just throw it out, mm -hmm. right? Like anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything that comes on Adult Swim. Although, have I watched any of them? I feel like there's. I like Bob's Burgers. That is that. true, actually. Mm -hmm. Bob's Burgers is awesome too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will take that back. Not everything animated, but no. Rick and Morty will say mm -hmm. that's certainly something that you don't yeah. get in with that I do. What's something you don't like that I watch? It's hard. Um, probably Sex in the City. I don't. I don't. That show is old. And I've dated. seen it. I've seen it twice. Like it's quite dated. It, it is. It is. I'm not trying to defend that. I just really like what they wear all the time. Fair enough. All right. Speed run. Ready. Favorite film. Mm. That is so hard. Whoever. Whoever can come up with that on the fly is like. A hero, like I. I mean, because yeah, your favorite film. I mean, my goodness, there's, yeah. That's, it has to be like based on genre. That's so like, like saying I my can... favorite breath I've ever taken. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we we watch a lot of TV movies. I think like if you if you if you gave me genres, I could be like okay, like think like rom coms. It'd be like. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I. How lose in ten days? You know, I don't know. Instead of favorite movie, what about like, just what movie can you, always put on and watch start to finish? Save the Last Dance or Mean Girls. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. I could always watch like, infinitely, just mm -hmm. infinite reloop play. Um, you could. He also <coughs> listens to the to that album. Oh, this is the soundtrack. That's true. Which actually ties in. What's your favorite album? That's a mm. that's a good question okay. too. That's the next one. 
That's easy for me. Uh, John Mayer's Room for Squares. That's okay. favorite album, hands down. <clears throat> White for, Boy Anthem. For me, I, I actually didn't listen to like, I didn't buy a lot of CDs or like listen to a lot of anthems. I've all, like, since I got a tape deck that could record radio back in the day, like I made my mixtapes and then as soon as we got internet and could you know, like burn CDs, I burned CDs and like I literally made, I've made mixtapes or, or mix CDs my entire life mostly. There are like a handful of, I of items that I've actually purchased album wise, mm -hmm. but the one that I probably, probably was the most bummed because one of my friends borrowed it and never gave it back was um, Usher's 8701. Like, <laughs> that one was a good one. Mm. Favorite book, easily off the top of my head. This one, I know, like anything pretty much from Neil Gaiman, but especially his Sandman series, his graphic novel series. I love that, cannot recommend that enough. If Even if you don't think you're into graphic novels, you would probably enjoy that one. And then he made, um, Death is one of the characters in that series, and he made like an offshoot of Death, like mm -hmm. uh, the little mm -hmm. graphic novel Sorry, for that. Yeah. And I loved, loved that one. Mm -hmm. um, that's hard for me. I can think of something that like maybe had the biggest influence on my life and maybe not even like is certainly not the best book, certainly not like my favorite book now, but the when I read Richard Feynman's autobiography, um, that one <laughs> nice. <laughs> that one really kind of like solidified that I wanted to become a physicist and be a physicist and do physics for a living. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe not even like the most significant book in my life, but definitely the most significant book in my life at that point in my life. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then favorite, just round it out, favorite TV show. Mm. Mm -hmm. Again, favorite breath of air. Uh, I oh yeah, know. we watch a lot of TV. Um, We've been watching TV together pretty much the entire time we were dating. Yeah. So um, I think one of the better ones that I've seen recently, which is what's coming to mind, is Watchmen. If oh, you didn't see so Watchmen, good. it's so, so, so good. good. Um, I will say uh, True Detective Season 1. That's mm -hmm. such a good, like, exploration mm -hmm. of modern masculinity and male friendships. Mm -hmm. That's such a good show. Matthew McConaughey, Woody Harrelson. Yep. Plus, like, southern gothic noir it crime. Is, yeah, Come it's on. so good. It's very good. It's great. Who's the better cook? That's, I thought mm -hmm. I was going to have to fight her for that one. Mm -mm. I thought, I disagree in, in only that I think I have the better technique. Like, I can, like, knife skills or whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, I try to do those sorts of things. Like, try to learn cooking skills. Mm -hmm. But in terms of just like pure understanding of flavor and, and combinations, always like you you will always think like this and this and it's like I'm like that's weird and then you try and it's amazing and yeah, mm -hmm. that's always. that's true that's true. Um, yeah. I have I I like very sour things and so I have to push him to try to pair more sour things with like food but like food. a little acidity brightens things yeah. up. So I much. don't really enjoy cooking by myself where I think like you could be in a kitchen all day and like just cook yeah. and you would be happy. I would rather do it with people and I'd be happy, you know? Sure. Not that I dislike cooking, but sure. I don't I don't like to do it alone. Mm. Yeah. I'm definitely like, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. But honestly, we fight over who gets to make certain things like gravy. I love to make gravy. Like today. You want to make yeah, we we like literally almost came to blows over who was going to make that dang mushroom gravy today. He won. It was like a 50-50 split. We Mine would have been better. Dang, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> um, it probably would have, but I never get to make the gravy, so I wanted to experience mm -hmm, making gravy. Mm -hmm. So good too. Thank you. Uh, what store do you miss the most in the U.S.? Mm. This is good, though. I know you yeah. hate cake. I, I don't you, like cake, but I I'll know try. you hate cake, but just try a little bit. Um, I really like, or I miss TJ Maxx, obviously, and I miss Bath and Body Works so much. I we we used to go in there and like pick out all the like wallflowers especially i feel like we went nuts for wallflowers mm -hmm. make your home smell good mm -hmm. that's yummy right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um probably uh it tastes like a cheesecake and then other cake yeah it's it's good mm -hmm. i would say i miss amazon the most although oh, okay. sweden just got amazon like a month mm -hmm. ago mm -hmm. talking about one of the weird things that sweden does is like yeah. they're they're very slow to like or not slow to catch on but like the 90s are like still a thing in here in Sweden. So like, they're, we didn't get Amazon in the 90s, granted, but like they're just now getting Amazon, which is understandable. They're pretty far north. They don't have the biggest amount of purchasing power. But um, the weird thing to me is like, you go downtown and they literally, there's like a video store. You can rent videos there. An actual physical like media. Like a blockbuster. Yeah. It's and not then, a blockbuster, but it's yeah. like a blockbuster. And then they also have like, 
very common to see travel agencies everywhere. <laughs> Which is wild. Like, like the internet doesn't exist. Right. Like, like kayak and like, I mean like booking.com. Right. Like, but they have, <laughs> they have them all over the place. Yeah. Now. Like they sure so do. many places. <laughs> okay. So that's our questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we just have to go into a diabetic coma and edit a video. <laughs> yeah. So that's, so I think that's it for today. We have a ton of questions, like I said, left. Thank y'all so much for leaving all those questions. I think the first time that I ever tried to do a q and I only had like a hundred or so subscribers and like nobody asked, <laughs> hardly anybody asked their questions. But this time I'm like so flattered that we had so many questions and we will get to them in another video. Hopefully we'll be able to film like a, a mukbang fika kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And we'll be able to get to those, but we will, we will get to them. Yeah. So thank you so much for hanging out with us. We hope you enjoyed it. We haven't graced you out too much eating in front <laughs> with of our you. food sounds. It's so weird to eat on camera like this. It's such a personal thing. It's very outside of my comfort zone. It's very weird. But again, we hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you say hello and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.